God, I wish, uh, you know, YouTube paid me based on how many... Alright guys, I'm doing much, much more of IIFYM, which basically stands for if it fits your macronutrients. I'm doing that a lot more than worrying about how clean I'm eating, etc. So this morning I'm going to show you guys how to make Madogas blueberry pancakes. Let's go. Uh, let's take a look at what's the ingredients for breakfast. You need the Bisquick blueberry pancake mix. You can get it pretty much anywhere. You're going to need one full egg. 160 grams of skim milk, blueberries, 285 grams of egg whites, and how many blueberries? You're going to need about 110 grams of blueberries, okay? You're going to need two servings, 40 grams per serving of the Bisquick, and you're going to need 160 grams of the, the uh, non-fat milk or skim milk, okay? The macronutrients for this are going to be 18.9 grams of fat, 72.4 grams of carbs, and 44.2 grams of protein. Caloric value, the CLA and the fish oil, okay? Alright, that's about 80 grams right there. Make sure not to burn these eggs because burnt eggs are the worst. So I'm crushing up my blueberries. Basic ingredients now. So we got the egg. So I'm gonna probably put it in half. Try to get it all out because you know you're counting your macros. So either you have to, you know, overshoot it a little bit when you're weighing it, or you really have to get it all out. So you know, the more precise you are, the better. Kind of smell it cooking now. Don't want it to get burned. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna put it on this plate right here. There we go guys, we got blueberry pancakes, egg whites, tapatio sauce for the egg whites. Someone just Facebooked me to say if I added vanilla and cinnamon it would taste better, so guess what, I'm gonna try it. Very good. <laughs> Alright, good morning everybody, my name is Ma'am, June 22nd. Um, I think I'm gonna make blueberry pancakes again this morning. Cause they were just freaking delicious and I just need to need to make myself happy this morning. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um Yep, yeah, I was 158.8, which is lower than yesterday and lower than the day before, despite the fact that I'd be eating blueberry pancakes. Um a lot of people apparently think it's gonna make me retain more fat, but I guess I'll just keep eating these blueberry pancakes to show people that it won't. <laughs> that makes any sense. But no, no, I'm really doing it for myself because they're freaking delicious. <laughs> What's happening, Pim? Um, this specific shoulder workout, I actually do 10 sets of 5 on the dumbbell shoulder press. Um, I was limited to 50 total working reps. So, you know, I'm not going to just do an exercise that I think is ineffective or not very stimulating and even though I could do plenty of other exercises just doing 50 reps of one I honestly felt like did the same exact job if I were to do multiple exercises with the same intensity I mean I felt just as much of a workout doing what I did as compared to doing you know five other exercises or you know three one did the job. Now it's interesting that a lot of people believe that a ton of variety is required to gain muscle, but I absolutely disagree with that, and I find that um, it is not necessary. It's cool, it's fun, it keeps things lighthearted, it keeps things interesting, which may help you, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary that a workout have you know ten different exercises when you could do one or two. You know what I mean? If it's a two-person lift, you don't really know how much you're doing. You won't be able to mentalize. You won't be able to write down on a piece of paper that you benched 225. You know what I mean? Because you don't know how much. You can't calculate how much your homeboys lost. So I don't do any force rep anything. That way, I can actually know what I did, 
and then the next workout you can up it. You're not going to be able to get bigger, you know, because then your next workout you better have a homeboy, right? You can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're doing 225 with a homeboy every single time. That's just going to be the way you're working out for the rest of your life, like. I mean, yeah. it's all about what you really lift. So you'll actually, you'll actually know what you really lift. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even if the number is way less than what you can do with your friend, at least you'll know. Yeah. So do you have like a written workout that you do, or do you just do it when you get here? So do you have like any like good like workout tips, like of like doing different stuff? Like a program or what? You guys play football? Uh, no, I used to. Are you a football player? Fuck man, who's a football player over there? Anyways, uh, shit. Like no matter what I tell people, no one listens. So. I don't even know if I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> Nobody listens well, these days. I, I listen. Nobody it. listens these days. I am the only person that's been getting stronger in this entire gym. It's kind of sad. Um, and I'm not on steroids either. Natural. Um, yeah. Do you take protein or anything? Raisins. Raisins. Motherfucking raisins. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'll take protein, but that stuff doesn't matter. I'm fucking scientific. But uh, if you want to program, and if you have the balls to actually follow it, it's just called 531. Well, I, I just finished my workout, so yeah. it's like, that might be it. <laughs> Where's uh, Mikhail? Oh, he's jacking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm always practicing my posing competition season. Every day I was at this mirror, just doing my thing. I didn't give a shit. Who was looking, how many people were looking. I didn't care if I was breaking the rules. You know what I mean? I'm here with a purpose. That was how I felt every single day in the gym. You know, I'm here for a purpose. I'm here for a purpose. And of course, you have to have a purpose. Otherwise, that statement is just, it's blank. It's empty. So if you do have a purpose, and you know what that is, you have some sort of method, a plan, Constantly reaffirm yourself of what that purpose is. So anyways, I was always up in this mirror, this beautiful area of the gym, just because the light shine just perfectly reflected across the mirror onto your body. And uh, this is where I was be practicing my posing and telling you guys out there, you know, you always want to be practicing your posing if you're trying to do this bodybuilding thing. It's definitely a must. So yeah, that's what's up. Equip me a little bitch! Oh, his cake!